Hi everyone. So in order to keep in touch before I can get my uh, computer kind of overhauled and fixed and perfect condition so I can upload for you um, whenever I want again, uh, we're just going to do a couple kind of easier videos this week. I know you guys have all been kind of hoping for eye tutorials, but those are definitely much heavier files to upload and when your computer isn't operating then it doesn't really allow for the heavy files to work. So I thought that I'd do kind of a fun, lighter video for you and just do a lip combo. So yeah, a um, couple things. Working on whitening my teeth so you'll be seeing them bump up a few shades from here on out. If they uh, don't look oh so white in some videos, those might be pre-recorded. Um, and what else? Um, I think the contrast between my eyes and my teeth are more noticeable on me than some people's or some other gurus on YouTube because the whites of my eyes are so white from eating a very uh, kind of like healthy vegan diet. So I think that's why it's noticeable. Anyways, I'm a big kind of uh, black tea drinker, so that's kind of why it ends up happening that way. So right now I'm just working on correcting my grin and... Uh, yeah, so I also darken my hair a little bit. Next time I go back to the hairdresser, I'm going to actually be adding some more highlighting because it should be closer to spring by then. But it's pretty much it. I get a lot of questions on what my haircut is, and basically what it is is an, it's an asymmetrical... It started off as a graduated bob, and it just sort of elevated. Like right now, it's got this very... Um, very escalated elevated back. It's got like very little long hair on top. It's definitely longer on the top. And then it gets very, very, very short and tapered at the very bottom, as you can see. And then it's just side cut and long on one side. So yeah, um, once again, this is this week's lip combo and I hope you enjoy it. So to get started on the lip look, I'm going to be taking the Mary Kay Satin Lips uh, Satin Mask, and we're just going to exfoliate the lips. Clean that all up. Alright, now that the lips have a very clean surface to work with, you can just dab off the granules with either your fingertips or you can even grab a tissue. And now we're going to be taking the Mary Kay Satin Lips Lip Balm. Okay, now we're going to let this soak in for a couple minutes you, or you could take a slightly less wet um, lip balm. I like the very wet lip balms myself. The EOS's are a little less wet. Um, that's actually why they're not my holy grail at all, but they smell nice and they're great for travel. Um, but yeah, just allow it to soak for a little bit and you should be good to go. Now before I start any lip color application, my lips are pretty pigmented in contrast with my skin tone. Since I'm fairly light, I do have very naturally pink lips. So I like to take a little bit of the Mary Kay um, Time Wise, which is just my regular base foundation. I use it all over my face as well. So you could take your base and just blank out your lips as well. And I generally do this when I'm applying my foundation. So I generally don't go back through and do it again. I'm just kind of showing you the little procedures I use before it leads up to using lip color. So to get started on the actual lip coloring, you want to make sure to strap down your lip color. In order to achieve this, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Shadow Pencil. And this is in Midnight Cowboy. This is meant for eyes or marketed for eyes, but I'm going to be using it on the lips. And it's basically just the same concept. I know a lot of people have used um, Ben Eyes Magic Color Cream Sticks on lips and other things on lips. So basically this is just a 24 hour hold shadow pencil. Now for the Cupid's Bow, I'm going to be highlighting it with Urban Decay 24-7 lip liner, or uh, sorry, eyeliner in Yayo. They don't make a lip liner highlighter, but you could take any product from Urban Decay that's concealing highlight or from any other line and do this step. Now 
Now for some people, this Midnight Cowboy might help avoid any feathering whatsoever, and if that is the case, great. For me, I'm gonna need a little bit more. I'm gonna take the Urban Decay 24-7 Lip Liner in Naked, and I'm just going to lightly draw around the edges. And you don't have to take this, you could take uh, anything from NYX or any other line. Now it was my birthday this past Sunday, January 22nd. I turned 27. I did have to work, so I decided to treat myself to a fun new product. I picked up the Urban Decay Super Saturated High Gloss uh, Lip Color, and this is in Punch Drunk. It's just a really pretty, as you can see, based on the packaging, a really pretty color. Now, originally when these came out, I said I wasn't going to buy one of them because they reminded me of the Milani Lip Flashes. So, upon closer inspection, they're really not. Um, maybe they are just motorcycle. Maybe they're just the high-end version of it. Um, but the Milani Lip Flashes uh, came first. Now, the closest dupe to the Milani Lip Flash um, that is similar to this one, Punch Drunk, is Flashlight. But it's much more sheer. So we're just going to start coloring in the lips. Now if you have one of the lighter new colors, I know um, other gurus have already reviewed the newer colors, like the light pink and stuff, those should be a lot easier to pop in your bag and go. This is also very easy to pop in your, your bag and go because it's just a gloss, lip liner, or lip pencil in one, but you might need a base just to help hold it on just because it is such a rich color. Now absolutely you can avoid gloss with these things if gloss is not your thing because they do have that saturated richness. But I'm going to be taking a little bit more. I'm going to be taking the Zoya Hot Lips Glossy Lip Balm and this is in Sorbet. It's just a really beautiful peach. Just to give it a little extra shine. So that completes this really orangey rich lip and I hope you enjoyed it.